Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is um, Wednesday, May 17th, and the moon is in Aries right now. It's early morning on the 17th, but it does shift uh, into Taurus, and that occurs at around um, 8.30, 8.29 a.m. here on the east coast of the U.S., and uh, once the moon moves into Taurus, we're moving into the dark of the moon because we do have a new moon in Taurus in, uh, in two days on the, on the 19th. And that new moon is occurring uh, at one of the final degrees of Taurus, the 29th degree of Taurus. So the moon will move through Taurus uh, over today and tomorrow and then rejoin uh, the sun in Taurus on uh, on the 19th, starting a whole new lunation cycle. Our last two lunation cycles were in Aries, so there's been a lot of uh, new initiatory energy, and of course Jupiter was also in Aries, and uh, in a close conjunction at least to that second, um, the second uh, new moon in Aries, which was in fact an eclipse. So. Uh, <clears throat> Let's just say a lot of things have been started, a lot of new things have been started, and now um, with um, this Taurus energy, yesterday uh, Jupiter moved into Taurus and will be there for a year. A lot of those things that were initiated when Jupiter were in, were in Aries are going to be evaluated to see if we have the resources or the resourcefulness to move forward. But today, um, the moon in Taurus... Um, it moves into Taurus and then the first thing it does of course is conjoin that Jupiter which just moved into Taurus yesterday uh, followed by a conjunction to its own north node um, and then a conjunction to Mercury which has uh, just recently stationed direct and is in Taurus and then a lovely sextile to Saturn in Pisces and um, <clears throat> sextiles to Saturn bring uh, stability opportunities for that uh, even though it is in Pisces, um, but there is this, um, this stabilizing force that we're feeling. And so by the end of the day, so we do have, you know, we have the moon, um, excuse me, the moon conjunct Jupiter um, at the beginning of the day. By the end of the day, we have Jupiter make a square to uh, Pluto, which of course is sitting at that first degree. So uh, in honor of that, we have our first, actually this is our second, the, the first purple iris to come up today, today, there we go, there it is, you get to see it, first thing, you and I get to share it together. We actually had a little one pop up yesterday when it was all sunny and beautiful, uh, but that was after I had done my video, but the, the wall of irises is starting to grow. Those are Dianthus, if you're wondering. Yep. And we have another one over here. That's going to pop open soon. These dark purple ones really, I think, are my favorites. Oh, here's another little one. Sneaking up. The irises are coming up. I am interested to see how far along the peonies are. Hopefully I'll get to see at least a few of them before I go. Uh, over the pond. This is the climbing hydrangea, and it is starting to flower out. You can see the whitish. Now, this I think I'm going to definitely miss, and I'm bummed because this smells like heaven. This is one of those heavenly things that we only get to experience once a year, but it's okay. I'm not, like I said, I'm not complaining. I just love my yard so much. All right, and the Solomon, Seal of Solomon is jumping out and jumping up. The uh, <clears throat> hummingbirds do love this stuff, so I'm excited. It's not quite open yet, and it does smell. They look like gigantic uh, lily of the valleys, and we do actually have some lily of the valleys up in the uh, upper garden there. Here are some more irises. Look at those little things just popping up everywhere. Gotta love it, and look at this bleeding heart. It is fantastic. <laughs> it's bleeding all over the place. Hearts everywhere. Hearts of fire. 
perfect for tourists just perfect yeah so um let's talk a little bit about the jupiter pluto square now jupiter this is the first challenging aspect between these two planets since their conjunction of 2020 they had three of them in 2020 I think, believe two of them were at 25 degrees of Taurus and the last one at 23 degrees of Taurus. Uh, that last one, I believe, if I remember correctly, happened in November of 2020. And, uh, <clears throat> the, I mean, the conjunction happened in, sorry, the conjunction happened in not in Taurus. The conjunction happened in Capricorn, right? Happened in Capricorn. And then Jupiter moved on into Aquarius where it met up with Saturn in Aquarius. And we started that 20-year cycle. Um, so we can sort of go back to that time. And now here we are with Pluto um, at the same degree as uh, Jupiter and Saturn. And now Mars is opposing, will be opposing that degree by Saturday. Uh, and we have this giant uh, fixed square in the sky with the nodes of the moon. So we are obviously at a choice point. We're obviously at a evolutionary crossroads. The Pluto square to the, the um, I'm sorry, Jupiter square to Pluto is asking us to take action to build foundations for that which was uh, born at that those initial conjunctions and those initial conjunctions were in Capricorn Pluto and Capricorn oh, hello kitty did you see that kitty <gasps> kitty I don't think that was Charlie I don't think Charlie's out did I left I didn't let Charlie out hi kitty who are you Say you try. That's not you try. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you okay? This is one of the feral cats that lives around. I think this cat is related to Charlotte, uh, who we haven't seen. But uh, it's a big fluffy, big fluffy kitty. Hi, kitty. Yeah, I think that might be the father of Charlotte or the papa cat around here. Oh, he's so cute. He's a fluff ball, but uh, he is running away. It's funny because last night Charlie was all like, I want to go outside. I want to go outside. And I'm like, you can't go out. It's getting dark. <laughs> Probably wanted to meet up with this guy. It, I could, it looked like a boy. It looked like a boy cat, even though it was fleeting and far. They have that kind of pudgy, pudgy face. Oh, look at this. It's a little windy last night. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at all these pieces of tree that have fallen. Yeah, we did have some wind last night. Like Saruni. Well, oh, look at this. Yeah. This, this uh, tree does shed a lot of these branches, but it has a lot of them. So I don't think it's abnormal. Oh, God. All right, there we go. Huh. Interesting. How very interesting. All right. Anyway, Pluto and Jupiter. So, crisis in action, guys. Crisis in action. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens, right? See, uh, what is that expression? Watch this space. Watch this space. But, uh, yeah, things are changing. And, uh, we're changing, and uh, we really do need to uh, focus on what's going to bring life into the world. And that's really what Jupiter, Jupiter in Taurus is an expansion of life, an expansion of stability, an expansion of understanding. And squaring Pluto, we have to act on that. We have to act on things that are going to preserve life. Including things like assault weapon bans. I, I just read this morning that in Illinois they did a, a statewide ban and it's being held up because the gun shops are saying that it's against the Second Amendment. 
so they haven't been able to institute the statewide ban, although I believe there's a ban in, like, maybe Cook County, like, counties can have them, but not the state, so it should be very interesting to see what happens with that. Um, hopefully we'll, we can come to our senses. Those people aren't going to come to our senses, their senses, I don't think, but the rest of us are already here, and it's time that they start listening to us. All right, this isn't minority rule, uh, even though it kind of is because the Republicans are ruling certain areas and they're definitely a minority. Funny that they're so racist against minorities. Anyway, let's go look at the... I don't think these are open yet. So you're going to come with me. No, they're not open yet, but they're getting bigger. They are getting bigger. Awesome. I might get to see these yet. All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Check out my Moon Shadows. I did a Moon Shadows episode with Ona. Uh, and I put it up last night. Early this morning. You want to check that out. It's not too long. Uh, we talk about the new moon in Taurus. We talk about what's going on in the world. You know, stuff. Oh, here's another iris. I missed this one. Yes, siree. It's Iris time. Take care, everyone. Namaste.